Warning for those with loved ones isolated at home, the Office of Fair Trading reporting a rise in door-to-door -door scammers taking advantage of the coronavirus lockdown. You don't like to be ripped off. Why did you do it to Mum? Why couldn't you just be a proper builder? They're brazen. You haven't done a day's work. They're bullies. Threatened me over the phone and, like, abusing me, basically. you and all your complaints. And they're back, knocking on your door. For years, door-to-door -door scammers have targeted vulnerable Australians on their own properties. And now, with more people at home than ever before, authorities warn dodgy tradies like the bitumen bandits are ramping up their frauds to behaviour. Look at my poor driveway. It's absolutely terrible. Target the elderly like that and, and is, is absolutely low. They all follow a similar method. Knock on your door, offer to do tradie work like fix your driveway or prune your trees and take your money. Problem is, they either don't perform the work they promise or they charge you much more than the job is worth. He's a con person and he's gonna take advantage of elderly people. I'm very angry, very angry. Sadly, the homeowner is left out of pocket. Their home, worse off, and the so-called tradie, impossible to find. Two thousand dollars, that's absolutely hopeless. Courtesy of a current affair, that uh, vision there. And for more, we're joined by Queensland Office of Fair Trading Regional Manager, Robert Brum. Good morning to you, Robert. Good morning, good morning. I tell you what, during isolation, we see the best and worst of people. How much of an increase are, are we seeing in these types of scams? Well, in Queensland last year, we had 10 reports across the state of uh, these types of uh, activities. And then since March this year already, We've had 14 in just uh, four or five weeks. So that obviously coincides with social isolation and uh, social distancing. And it seems that uh, when they knock on the door now, they're getting more responses, which mm. opens the market for them, is a shame. OK, so, I mean, these are the cases that we know about. I'm sure there are a lot more that we don't know about. Um, what, what should people look out for? That's correct. Uh, uh, the problem is these, these bandits uh, live a, a nomadic uh, lifestyle. They, um, they travel from town to town. They, they have uh, quite expensive uh, rigs, caravans and big four-wheel drives to help them out, which is an indication of the type of money they're making. And the, uh, the other thing I've noticed is we had a, a pair of brothers last year in their 20s who the police managed to catch up with around the Gympie area for a this type of activity, which also extended into uh, problems under the criminal code, and they were duly arrested. But uh, sadly, I recognise that uh, I'd also investigated their fathers and uncles about mm. 20 years ago. Wow. So it's, uh, it's a career choice. I mean, they're just scumbags, these, these blokes who do it, and they, they're targeting the vulnerable. Well, how do they go about it? Like, they knock on the door. Do they sort of start by offering a really low price? Um, do they actually do the job? And, and I'm assuming they ask for the money up front. So they will target... In the past, they pretty much targeted just the, uh, the elderly and uh, in the rural areas as well. Uh, their business models expanded recently in the last few years to inner city uh, suburbs, uh, to uh, businesses as well. So it, it's across the board now. Yes, they will knock on the door. They will have a, uh, a standard line generally about we've been doing some work in the area, we've got some product left over, bitumen, which we have to use by the end of the day or it'll go off, or we've got some paint left over, and they will offer you a price initially that seems very, very uh, attractive. Mm. Problem being, uh, the job is very substandard, mm. uh, and even call it that. I, I've been to uh, take statements from some poor victims and you can already see the weeds growing through within days. So they, they don't care who they target, they'll take your money and uh, they move on very quickly and that's part of the challenge for the regulators. OK, I mean, the problem, is, the problem is these people are trading off the good name of great tradies um, out there. If people think they've been scammed, who do they call? What do they do about it just quickly? OK, you've got some rights. Consumers, you have rights and please be aware if someone door knocks you, they must give you, to sell you something, they must give you a uh, 
10-day business cooling off period. No money can change hands and no services can begin. That's, that's the law, you have that right. If you ask them to leave your premises, they must leave. There's no ifs or buts, they must leave. And you can also get yourself a handy do not knock sticker from your, your local uh, fair trading agency or consumer affairs. And, and there's other outlets, uh, community groups who have them as well. And by law, if you have that on your letterbox or on your door, they cannot even knock on your door or come into your premises. Good on you, Robert. That, that's terrific advice. I really appreciate that. Mm. That's some terrific advice for people out there who are getting those knocks, and way too many are at the moment, aren't they? Good on you, mate. Thank you.